So I've seen a lot of people complaining about the new wires that have been added to the to the bomb, and um, the way I mean the way I'm looking at it now is that it's a new meta, and with that uh, comes new mechanics, new things that you can actually use to your advantage as a CT. So uh, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll I'll prefix this video by saying the wires looks really strange and freak me out. If they were normal wires, like those wires on top of the bomb there, if they were just wires like that, like the red and the black one, that would be great. Um, but the wires themselves really freak me out, but that's the only thing I dislike about the change. Um, other than that, it's just things, I'm neutral, it's just things you gotta get used to. So, I'm just gonna use this video to, to quickly explain a few things, um, that, just thoughts that I have, and maybe we can sort of start a, a conversation about what you guys think about those thoughts and what other people come up with. So, the first thing I'm gonna mention is, <coughs> if you plant, say, in a corner like this. So once the bomb's in the corner, the CT has two options. They have the option to look at the bomb and defuse it, or they have the option to not look at the bomb and just tap it and try and get the kill. So, try and get the kill. So those are the two options you have when it's planted in the corner, and that's something uh, we know about. That's why Dust 2B site, the, the corner plant, is the, is the default plant. Um, and I don't think this meta is going to change anything. The way to react to that is to tap and then move into a situation where the T has to overpeak you in order to see the bomb. So for here, for example, they'd have to swing all the way out. And if you're in a good position, like if you've managed to tap it um, and get to somewhere here, the T is going to have to completely peak and give you that easy, that easy kill on them like that. So with that being said, the first scenario doesn't really involve the wires that much. You're not really going to care about them because you're probably going to see the CT first or you'll see them looking away from you on the bomb. So the wires don't matter. But for the second, for this scenario, this is where um, the wires could come into play. So say if the bomb got planted here, for example, so you could see the bomb if you were unsure. And then the CT is trying to defuse it from cover like I'm this. The bomb. So um, if I put it in third person you're going to be able to see those wires and you're going to see where they go you while you're on short, right? So this is something um, that we, as a CT, um, well, I'm seeing a lot of people saying, oh, that's, you can now tell that where the CT is exactly and what he's doing and that he's diffusing. But as a CT, when the T sees those wires, he's going to pee, he's going to see the wires, see that he can't shoot you and he's going to try and come around here and get you. So while you're diffusing, the I mean, with your gun out, as soon as you hear that, that's when you, that's when you can peek him, and that's when you, he's, he's committed, he's overpeaked, and that's when all you do is aim, and wait for him, and, and take him out. You use those wires to your advantage to force the T to come out of his hiding place, and allow you to just wait for him. And once he's come out, if you stop diffusing and he sees that those wires disappear, um, he he can't then go back. He's still committed, so he's still gonna push out and try and kill you. But you can hear his steps. You know where he's coming from. So those wires work both ways. They give the T your position, but they force him to commit. They force him to commit to the play, and that's the scenario too, where the bomb is in the open, but the CT is sort of hidden. So the third scenario I see is where the bombs say planted out in the open, and the CT has to defuse it out in the open. So let's for example say we know that the T is in toilet. We bait in there. And we're going to come in and we're going to try and defuse. So what um, people seem to be complaining about is that you could peek the bomb and see if there's wires on it or not. And literally just, just quickly peek and if there's no wires, you don't even commit to the engagement. You don't have to look, see if the CT is looking at you or anything. But the thing about this is, while you're defusing, you can still pre-aim that angle. And then if you hold E and mouse 1, as soon as you let go of E, you're going to start shooting defusing. instantly. So it's bad for the T to try and, uh, and peek you. Because as soon as he peeks you like that, you can take his head off. Then, if he, if he goes back in, I mean, you're defusing, defusing the you take the shots, you just start Double defusing again. And he has, to, he has to just peek you straight away again. There's, there's no... There's no chance of him just, just peeking, seeing you're not defusing and hiding. Because as soon as he peeks you, you take a shot and you start defusing again. And in this scenario, the wires don't matter. If, you play, if you're playing these scenarios right, the wires just don't seem to matter. Um, I guess the final one would be if you plant and then you walk away from the bomb to get, uh, to get in a position that's different and make the T try and, and find you. That's all well and good, but I mean, if you know where he is, just make him overpeak. So if you if you come to the left, he has this peak, he can just see the bomb and you don't see him. 
but if you come to the right, you're forcing him to swing out and over peak, at which point he's going to be wide open and you can just take him out. Um, so we've seen three scenarios so far, two where the wires don't really play a difference at all. Um, based on where you are and where the T is, and one where if you play it right, you can actually use the wires to your advantage when the CT's hidden but the bomb's not, um, and, and force the CT to, to, to play out and try and push you. Um, so it's only fair now, having two neutral and one advantageous one, that we have one that's disadvanta uh, disadvan dis disadvantageous. So that's going to be, um, say, say the bomb's planted in a corner or in the site open, it doesn't really matter which. Um, but the CT doesn't know where the T is. So, for example, the T's in bank. Uh, the CT comes up to the bar, taps it, and then he moves to make the wide peak for toilets. The T, what what he's essentially done is, well, let's say the bomb was here so that they can actually see it from bank. But what they've essentially done is allowed the T to peek the bomb and see that there's no wires on it and just not, not come out. Um, while the CT thought maybe he was toilets and has, has played it right as if the guy was toilets but he just hasn't been there. The CT, the, the, the T then doesn't have to take that fight and that is one where it is advantageous for the T but if the T's have managed to get into the site, they've planted the bomb and then have managed to get to a position where the CT's then have no info where he is. Fair enough, the T should have that advantage because they've played that superbly to be able to do that and make, make the CT's completely unaware where they are. Well done to them, um, and I would say that arguably they deserve that that advantage. Um, so that's my two cents on it. Those are the four sort of situations that I see. I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. Obviously, this is just um, my analysis, my opinion. It's just a theory. Uh, I could be wrong, and if you think I am, go ahead, um, tell me why. But that's just my sort of two cents on on the situation on the on the bomb wires. Um, but apart from that, I mean, other than the way the wires look. I think it's a great change. It's it's just it forces everyone to adjust to a to a new meta, to a new a new gameplay mechanic. And um, like I said, there's a way for the CTs to use it to their advantage. It's not entirely T-sided. And I mean, it's two neutral scenarios, one positive and one negative for the CT. I think that's fair enough. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I hope you enjoyed listening to my theories on the new bomb diffusing wires. Um, yeah, cool. Have a good day, guys.